Hey fellow cruise fans, Jeff here with Backroads Tourist and today we're going to be talking about Carnival Cruise Line shareholder benefits. I'll tell you what they are and how to get them. So I was reading the comments section on one of my videos and I read a message from Gerald who said he'd like to find out more information on the benefits you get if you own stock in Carnival Cruise Lines. Well, I'm a shareholder and I know some of the ins and outs, so I'm happy to share what I know. I'm also going to run down what some of the other cruise lines are doing. But before I do, I want to make it perfectly clear that I am not giving financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy stock in Carnival or anything else. Do your own research. Make your own decisions. There's financial risk in investing in any stock and cruise line stock is no exception. First of all, let's talk about exactly what this shareholder benefit is. Simply put, it's a certain amount of onboard credit for you to use on your cruise. Now, for those of you who are new to cruising, onboard credit is money you're given that can only be used on your cruise. You can use it for excursions, drinks, specialty dinners, things like that. Think of it as kind of a gift card, but if you don't use it, you lose it. You can't even roll it over into your next cruise. Here's the basics of the shareholder benefits. You need to own a minimum of 100 shares of Carnival Cruise Line stock. Once you own that stock, you can get $50 onboard credit for a cruise of six days or less, $100 onboard credit for seven to 13 days, and $250 of onboard credit for cruises of 14 days or longer. Now for my friends in Australia, those numbers are the same in Australian dollars. In the United Kingdom, it equates to 30, 60, and 150 pounds. And for continental Europe, it's 40, 75, and 200 euros. According to Carnival, there are a few limits on what you can and cannot spend this onboard credit on. You cannot use it for casino credits and casino charges or gratuities charged to your onboard account. There's also more fine print. Carnival employees, travel agents cruising at travel rates, tour conductors, or anyone cruising on a reduced rate or complimentary basis are excluded from this offer. And here's something else you should know about. There's only one onboard credit per shareholder occupied stateroom. Let's say that you and your significant other are sharing a stateroom and both of you individually own 100 shares of stock. Well, you're going to have to fight about it because only one of you is eligible for that onboard credit. Finally, this benefit is non-transferable. In other words, if your friend is taking a cruise, you can't gift them your onboard credit benefit. You also can't exchange it for cash. On a positive note, if you take multiple cruises per year, you can get this benefit on every cruise as long as it's on a ship in the Carnival family like Carnival Cruise Lines, Princess, p &O, Holland America, and a few others. Some other cruise line companies offer similar benefits for their shareholders, and I want to briefly touch on that and then tell you exactly how you can apply for your benefits. But first, if you're getting a little value out of this video, please click that like button down there. And if you would be so kind as to subscribe to the Backroads Tourist channel, I'd really appreciate it. I have a lot of fun cruise videos in the works for you, as well as videos that visit quirky, weird, amazing places all over the United States. I think you're going to like those too. Now back to the shareholder benefits. I also want to mention that although I wasn't a shareholder at the time, I've heard that Carnival also gave dividends to shareholders, but that was discontinued in early 2020 when the shutdown came along. Will dividends ever be reinstated? I don't know. That would be nice, but if they are, I don't think it's going to be for a while. We'll see. Royal Caribbean and Norwegian also offer shareholder benefits that are very similar to Carnival. Royal Caribbean Group covers Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, and Silver Sea cruises. They offer $50 onboard credit for a cruise of five nights or fewer, $100 for six to 13 nights, and $250 for 14 nights or longer. Plus, if you're taking a world cruise, they'll give you $1,000 per stateroom. 
Norwegian also includes Oceana and Regent Seven Seas. Now, for a cruise of six days or less, you get the $50 credit. Seven to 14 days is $100, and 15 days or more is $250. All of these cruise benefits are pretty much the same, but the number of days does differ slightly from cruise company to cruise company, and some cruise lines have restrictions on what you can use the onboard credit for. And for anyone who is absolutely clueless about buying stocks like I was a few years ago, there are several places where you can buy stocks online from the comfort of your own home. I found an online stock broker that I was comfortable with, set up an account, and in a few minutes I started buying stocks. I don't want to mention any names because I don't want it to look like I'm endorsing one over the other, so I urge you to do your own legwork on this, and if you've made the decision to buy Carnival Cruise Line stock, the symbol is CCL. And just to be fair, Norwegian Cruise Lines is NCLH, and Royal Caribbean Group is RCL. So how do you get your benefits from Carnival? Well, first of all, you should apply three weeks prior to your cruise departure date. As of this recording in mid-February of 2024, there are a couple of ways you can do that. First of all, you can use an app called Stock Perks. I haven't used this yet myself, but most of the reviews I've read say that it's pretty easy. If you're interested in doing it this way, you might want to find an online video that can guide you through it a little bit better than I can at this point. You can also send in your request by email. You just need to send them your legal name, reservation or booking number, the ship you're sailing on, and the date you're sailing, along with proof of ownership of at least 100 shares of stock. I made a copy of my monthly statement, blacked out the account number, of course, and attached it to the email. In fact, I did this just yesterday for our upcoming cruise. I sent the email in at 12.30 in the morning, and the onboard credit was issued to my account later on that same morning, so they're usually pretty fast about it. Now you can also snail mail it in or even fax it in. I've included a link to the contact information for the various cruise lines in the Carnival family in the description of this video. Again, a friendly reminder that I am not a financial advisor. Do your research and invest at your own risk. And if you want to find out about other perks, freebies, and discounts for your next cruise, consider watching this video. I think you'll be glad you did. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm Jeff, and I'll see you on the back roads or on a future cruise.